Telestration is an incredibly powerful tool in online learning. And if you build one, you can draw over pretty much anything that you're bringing into an online class. You have an instant whiteboard that you can use behind you, but you can also draw over slides, over graphics, over pictures, and over any video that you're bringing in. And if students show you some work, you can even draw over that so it's a really powerful tool in online pedagogy. There's lots of ways that you can achieve this, such as bringing in a tablet and then using a chroma key, or recently Lightboard solutions have got increasingly popular in online tutorials. But I'm gonna show you how you can use a combination of an ATEM Mini, a Wacom tablet, and a computer running a whiteboard application which lets you draw over any HDMI source that you're bringing in. And this technique allows for one-to-one -one mapping so you can see exactly what on your video source you're telestrating. This is sometimes known as the Alex Lindsay method. This is who I learned it from and he's popularized this technique of telestration through office hours. And you can see his full talk about the telestrator uh, in the description below. So let's talk about the nuts and bolts of how this works. The key to the whole operation is the A10 Mini. Essentially, this is a low cost switcher which allows you to switch between and manipulate four HDMI sources. Although there are more advanced models such as the ATEM Mini Extreme, which allows you to manipulate more sources. So you have your HDMI input and you also have your output. The first of your outputs is a webcam out and that essentially plugs into your computer and allows you to use that as a webcam source. You also have a HDMI output, which we'll come to in a moment. In my HDMI input, I have a bunch of different HDMI sources, which I can switch between in my online classes. So I have a clean HDMI output coming from my camera. My second source is usually my iPhone, which I'll use as a second top-down camera, or sometimes I'll use it to be bringing in graphics. And my third output is usually mirroring the second screen of my computer. This is so I can easily bring in a screen share. So now let's talk about how the Telestrator is routed through the A10 Mini. I mentioned earlier, there's a second output, a HDMI out to monitor the output from your A10 Mini. And I have this plugged in to a Wacom tablet. This is a Wacom One, but you can also use a Wacom Cintiq. The important thing is this tablet needs to have a screen so it can display the HDMI output from the A10 Mini. Then my fourth HDMI output is bringing in a whiteboard application, which is running on an old MacBook Air that I have. So, so far, so what, in a way? I'm bringing in a whiteboard from another computer and I'm monitoring my output with a Wacom tablet. But now the magic, because if I connect this Wacom tablet via USB to this computer that's running my whiteboard application, the Wacom tablet is controlling the cursor of the whiteboard. So we effectively have this loop where the Wacom tablet is controlling the cursor of my whiteboard, which is being brought in as a HDMI source into my A10 Mini and the ATA Mini is kicking that as output. And because this is being routed through the A10 Mini, this means I can key the telestration over all of my other sources. The way you do this is through the A10 software control. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is select the color of your telestrator. I find that purple works quite well for me. The important thing is that this color is contrasting to whatever you're telestrating. 
So what I'll sometimes do is set another color that's just a little bit lighter and then I can switch between them if I need to. Then once you've set your color, you're going to want to go down to your downstream key. You're going to set the fill source to whatever color you want to telestrate in. So I'm setting this to color one. Then you set your key source to however you're bringing in your whiteboard. So my whiteboard is coming in on camera four. Then you're going to want to turn the pre-multiply key on, invert the key, and then you can turn on your telestrator to see how it looks. What you can do here is play around with your clip and your gain in order to get those lovely smooth edges on the telestrator. And I think that's looking pretty good. And once you have that set up, you're ready to go with telestration. Now, obviously, if you're using this a lot, you're not going to want to adjust your settings in the software control each time, which is why it's a really good idea to set up a macro. I have one of these on my stream deck, so the Telestrator is ready to go at the touch of a button. If you want to learn more about macros, then there's a link in the description below. For the whiteboard app itself, I use a free application called Sketchbook. The reason is this will go full screen with very little user interface. So the only thing that's on the screen is a white board and this tiny little circle in the corner here, but you can barely see it. You can also change the settings so that the cursor is invisible. It doesn't show up. So you don't have any ugly cursor interrupting your beautiful telestrations. The Wacom tablet that I use is the Wacom One. This is cheaper than the Wacom Cintiq and the USB and the HDMI all come in through a single input here. Is all routed through one cable, which just makes things a little bit neater on my desk. There is also a button on the Wacom tablet that you can program via the driver, the Wacom driver, on the machine you're using the whiteboard app with. And I set this to a backspace. So whenever I have done a drawing, I just click that button and it clears it. So this is going to take a fair bit of setting up and commitment if you want to set up a telestrator like this. But once you have it, I guarantee you will just use it all the time because it's here. And in conversation, you want to quickly explain something. I can just grab my pen and uh, illustrate as I'm talking or if I'm showing something, it's just super easy to reach out and highlight something and grab something. Also, if I lower the lights here, you can see this is dark, but essentially if I use my telestrator now, I've got a light box effect. It's the same sort of uh, glowing effect that uh, people talk about with the light box method. But in this way, you can just press a button. And with this method, you can draw over anything you want that you bring in as a HDMI source, and you can see exactly where you're telestrating. It's also a good idea if you're building this into your workspace that you have some uh, blank space behind you. This is the reason I have this blank wall behind me. I used to have kind of posters on it 
um, but but I keep it blank so that I can seamlessly go into telestrating. So normally what I do is I fr is I position myself in the frame slightly, slightly to this way, so there's not a really big blank space behind me. And then when you want to telestrate, you've got to perfect the move called the telestrator shuffle, where just as you're talking, you kind of casually slide yourself to the other side. You do your telestrator, however you you like, and then you shift your way back, and it's very pleasing. So, have fun telestrating. I mean, I don't know if that's even English. All right, come on. Have fun telestrating. Oh. Smiley face.